today we're talking about three different ways to teleport within After Effects. Hello, my name is Austin Smith, this is D-Man Films, and did you know that the first appearance of teleportation within fiction was in 1877 in a book called A Man Without a Body by Edward Page Mitchell. Now, why do I say all this? Well, I find it fun to give you facts that are prevalent to the editing that we'll be doing today. Now, if you just wanna skip ahead because you're that impatient, then I guess I don't really have a choice. You can do Now before you even open After Effects, you want to make sure that you get the right footage on set before you even get to the post-production. Now with our shot, we have the shot of our talent doing her action, then we have a clean plate, and then we have a shot of sand flying in the air, just to add a little bit of detail. So keep that in mind for when you're doing your specific teleportation shot of where can you add in little details that you can comp in with an After Effects. Now in After Effects, let's take our action shot in a new comp, cut it at the moment where we would want her to teleport, then finish the shot with the background plate. Lastly, take any added elements that we got on set and add them in. To add ours in, we just keyframe the mask around the sand and feathered it out a bit. Once you're done with that, go ahead and pre-comped all the layers. Now let's go to the last frame that our talent has seen, duplicate the layer, then go to time, freeze frame, so it remains a still image, and lastly clip off everything on this layer before this point. And now let's put on our headphones, crank up our favorite song, and put our mask around the talent. Uh Once we're done with that, we're going to add the turbulent displacement effect. In this effect, we're going to change the displacement setting to horizontal, change the size to two, and keyframe the amount. Have it on zero on the first frame, then move over two frames and set it to 4,500. Then move to the last frame and set it to 10,000. Now let's go two frames after the keyframe of 4500 and let's keyframe the position and scale of the layer, having the X and Y scale not being locked together. Now move four frames ahead and adjust the scale and position to have our talent squished down into nothing. She's lost, much like. Jurassic Park 2, the world, um, it was a you know, lost world. I'm sorry, they weren't supposed to cut back to me. I'm not sure what to say right now. Can we? Next, let's duplicate this layer and add the fine edges effect to it, making sure to invert it. Then you can add a lumetry color to give the shot more contrast to darken those blacks. After, let's add the glow effect, making the radius 135 and the intensity 2.0. Then duplicate the glow effect and change the radius to 250 and the intensity of 1.0. Now let's keyframe the opacity, having it at zero on the first frame and 100% on a few frames over. After all that, we want to take our layer and change the blending mode to add, to get rid of all the blacks. Oh wow, that could be taken out of context. Now let's create a lens flare for where she's shrinking to by first adding a new solid and adding Video Copod's optical flare effect. In this effect, I'm going to use a preset called Anthrax. With that lens flare, let's keyframe the brightness. So let's have it start at zero, creating a keyframe a little bit before the teleportation begins. Then at the frame right before she shrinks to nothing, let's set the brightness to 55. Then have it quickly fade back to zero. For final details, I added some energy leak overlays. The ones I personally use came from tryondigital.com, not a sponsor, not an ad, but if you just wanted to copy the effect exactly the way I did it, that's where I got them. I added one that moved to the lens flare prior to seeing it, then pre-composed and added a vector blur to our main footage and paired it to the pre-composed energy leak. Lastly, I added one behind the mask we made of our talent as she teleports away, leaving a minor dust trail of where her body was. So for our next effect, we're putting the viewer at the destination point of which our person is teleporting to. So in After Effects, we have our action shot and our clean plate and a new comp. First thing we want to do is create a mask around our subject and keyframe them so they expand out, slowly revealing our character. And don't just make these masks random on the body, but think about what would be revealed first as she's going through this teleportation type wall. So in our shot, you can see her head and her arm are showing first as the rest of her body is revealed. Also remember to apply a mask around any shadows that our subject is creating. Once done with that, select all the clips and pre-compose and we can name this main footage. On the main footage we are going to animate the bulge effect. So with this effect add a keyframe to the bulge height right before our talent appears and move a few frames over and adjust the height to somewhere around negative 1.5. Then move further ahead and adjust the height to somewhere around 1. Then to finish it just move a few frames further and set the keyframe to 0. To finish this effect adjust the horizontal and vertical radius of our bulge effect to match the area that you need it in. Now let's create two solids, one white and one black and let's put the black solid on top and keyframe a mask from the top of the screen to the bottom to reveal this black solid. Now let's add a turbulent displacement effect to our black solid and make the amount 650 and the size 12. Now let's add a time expression to the evolution. To do this, hold down Alt and click the stopwatch on the evolution option, bringing up the expressions key. Then type out 100 asterisk time. What this does is give some life to our displacement as it flows down. We can adjust this number two to adjust the speed. The lower the number, the slower the speed, the higher the number, the higher the speed. Now let's duplicate that turbulent displacement effect and adjust the amount to 230 and the size to 56. Lastly, let's add some Gaussian blur and finally pre-compose both shape layers. On our new layer, let's add the tritone effect, making the highlights and shadows black, and the midtones we can make whatever color we want for our effect. In this case, we wanted to make it purple. 
Now let's add our glow effects, having each new layer have a higher radius and a lower intensity. And with this example, we'll end up using three layers of the glow effect. Next, let's make the blending mode add and begin to keyframe our opacity, position, and rotation of our effect so it follows our talent as she appears. We want to also duplicate the layer and add them on her arms separately as well. After this is done, make sure you turn on the motion blur for these layers. And for final details, just like before, we added the lens flare and the energy leaks just to bring everything together. And for a bonus tip, if you want to add a slight little camera shake, you can do this. Pre-compose your full composition and move to the frame where your subject begins to appear. Duplicate the layer and cut off the beginning, then move a few frames over and cut off the excess. Then hold down the Alt key and select the position stopwatch and create a wiggle expression that is 55 comma 55. Turn on your motion blur and now you have a subtle camera shake. For our final example, we are going to be putting the viewer with our subject as they are teleporting. So in After Effects, let's make a new comp and add our two shots that we need to connect. You can see in both shots our subject are making the same motion, allowing us to connect the clips more easily. You can also see that in our exterior shot, she is lit purple to emulate the portal. And in the interior shot, her legs are lit with a light on the ground to emulate the neon effect that we're going to be adding to her body. And I put that out there because, look, I know it's obvious, but when you're on set and you have the opportunity to light something, to emulate the effect you'll be adding later, do it. Just please do it. You know why? Because I care. Now let's take our two clips and cut them together where our subject's body position matches most. And keep in mind, we didn't have to do this for this shot, but you may have to adjust the position and scale of one of your shots to better match this cut. So once you have that, keep from a mask on the top layer and quickly expand it out, revealing the second shot. Make sure you feather out this mask and then pre-compose both layers. Now on our pre-composed layer, we are going to add the effect Optics Compensation. With this effect, make sure the reverse lens distortion is checked and set a keyframe near the beginning of our clip on the Field of View option. Now at the point of transition, set the Field of View to 100, then just a few frames over, bring it back down to zero. And lastly, just like we did before, we're going to add the neon strips going down our body as it's revealed, the lens flare, the energy leaks, and then also pre-compose everything and add a little bit of a camera shake. And that's it. That's three different teleportation techniques that you can do in After Effects. If that helps with your project and if you end up using it for your project, make sure you tag me in it or send me the link. I would love to check it out. Make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. And as always, God bless and I'll see you in the next one.